Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your midweek motivation for Wednesday, August 2nd. If you're new to my channel, on Wednesdays we just do a little bit of a pick-me-up here. We get some messages bringing some insights some motivation and some positive vibes to your day. And uh, by the very nature of the Wednesday readings, they are timeless because it's not about any specific energy. It's whatever spirit wants to say to you. So uh, whenever you do see one of these Wednesday reading pop up, it is live for you. So let's get right into it and see what we've got first. We've got the pronghorn coming in here as your animal spirit today, uh, prompting you into action. So if there's been something that you've been putting off, something that you want to do, something you want to accomplish, or maybe even something you want to finish, all right, today is the day where you are being guided into taking that action or taking that initiative, and your actions will pay off. Now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle and your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success. We also have the eagle with mastery coming in here. When we get the eagle spirit energy, number one, this can be about seeing things from a higher perspective, right? When eagles are on the ground, they their abilities to hunt are limited right because you can't see the forest through the trees you can't see that mouse through the blades of grass when you're on the other side of a million blades of grass so you've got to elevate to a higher perspective so this is spirit saying to you that there might be something in your world right now where you do need to take that step back and you do need to look at something from a different point of view and this will quite often give you that big picture. It'll give you that aha moment. And it may give you the clarity that you need to see where you want to go or figure out, hey, maybe even what action that you need to take. All right. So seeing things from that higher perspective is very important. But eagles are very connected with our spiritual selves, with messages from spirit. So pay attention a little bit because you may be seeing some signs right now. Maybe they're repeating numbers. Maybe you do see an eagle crossing your path. Um, where I live, we've got tons of eagles around here, uh, especially uh, when the salmon are spawning. Um, but we quite often, or I quite often anyway, see eagles in places that are just a little bit odd. Right? They're, you know, they're not hunting the mice in the field because got a lot of farmland, so a lot of fields. They're not hunting there. They're not at the river catching fish. They're just like flying in front of my car when I'm in traffic somewhere. It's like, why are you here, Mr. Eagle? This isn't your normal place. So you might actually see something like that, see those eagles. So it could be the spirit delivering you a message. And so it's just a reminder there to be open, to, see, to recognize some of the signs that you might be seeing. So the eagle mastery, you are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit and your wisdom inspires the world. So beautiful message and beautiful energy there. Let's keep going. Thank you very much and see what else we get for you guys. So flipping out of the deck. We have She Who Remains with Manatili energy, bringing in powerful, uh, powerful devotion and your sense of worth. So this is really spirit saying to you to really kind of open up a little bit and really be honest and truthful with yourself. Know your worth, know your power. We are all very powerful beings and every single person has value. And we sometimes forget that we let people steal our thunder a little bit. We let people undermine us sometimes. And sometimes it's some deep seated issues from our past. We are, uh, as I do this reading, we are slowly coming out of the full moon in Aquarius energy, but we have Uranus playing the fool up in the skies as well. And when we have uh, Uranus at play, you might be in an energy where you are making some radical change. Um, or you may be feeling a little bit rebellious. You're pushing against the status quo, or you are breaking free of some restrictions, right? And if, if you've let other people, um, you know, kind of put you down or make you feel undervalued, 
man, oh man, are you ever about to have some sort of breakthrough, especially with that eagle coming in there and especially with that action, that prompting energy coming in here. So remember your true worth. Remember that force within. Be dedicated and devoted to what you want in your life and it shall come to pass. It shall happen, right? Wherever we put our energy and our effort, this really does uh, you know, help us along our journey and this leads us on the path to success, right? Some people will never take no for an answer. They just know deep down, they're very confident. They're like, nope, I'm on the right path. But a truly confident and powerful person will also know when, you know, hey, when do I need to be flexible and when do I need to maybe change my course on my journey just a little bit? So don't be afraid of change because, you know, quite often on our path forward, we do have those adjustments that we do need to make. So just remember your true power and remember that whatever situation that you are in in your life, you have value, you have worth right? And don't let anyone take that away from you. Very hard life lesson to learn sometimes with that. All right. But we do also have a very calm energy coming in here with she who calms Jenna. And this brings an energy of quiet. When things get chaotic, sometimes the best thing that we can do is take a step back, is to find or make space for ourselves to connect with our energy, to connect with our thoughts, to clear our heads, so to speak. So you're being very encouraged right now to find that quiet place, even if it's, you know, just for five minutes, even if it's just for 10 minutes. If you work in an office, maybe you hide under your desk and you sit cross-legged, just taking some deep breaths in and out for a few minutes when things get, you know, really loud, whatever that means to you, because in the stillness, in the quiet, the, in that space that we make for ourselves, this is where we really connect with our own energy. This is where we feel a little bit more in the flow. And quite often, this is where we really do uh, figure out some answers. And it's because we've let go of control and it's because we've let go of um, trying too hard. And the more we push something, the more we try and control something, the more we restrict something. So it is important to have that step back, to have that quiet space so that we can, um, you know, get that clarity or, you know, get those insights that we've been looking for. Sometimes we do need to release in order to do that. I also do feel here with this particular energy, if you've been feeling that things have gotten so chaotic, I mean, the last few months we have had some absolutely nutty, uh, energies going on around and you know for depending on your astrology and things like that um you know some of this energy could be working in your favor um but for a lot of us it's creating a lot of challenges right it's just things are a little bit loopy um things feel very uh fast um and unexpected right and as humans we're creatures of habit and we don't love the unexpected right we like the we like the status quo we like the calm we like we're creatures of habit right so even if you're someone that does thrive on change there's still certain things that you want to be able to depend on that you know are around so in the last few months it has been quite chaotic um especially the last couple of months of July and we're not quite out of the weeds yet because August we've got, you know, two full moons bookending each other. So you've got a blue a full moon in Aquarius, which, which at this reading, the energy we're still in at the end of the month, but a blue moon, right? So we've got a full moon in Pisces. So two full moons in the month of August. So bookending August with some very deep emotions, right, can come into the surface, but there's some beautiful aspects as well. And, you know, so we need to try and take advantage of some of the energies or really ground and center ourselves when we get that moment, when we find that quiet time, right? We just need to bring ourselves back down to earth and we can just feel a little bit better. We've got the Hierophant coming in here. We've got the Six of Swords. And we've got the Eight of Wands. So I feel here in this energy is that number one, the Hierophant spirit says, don't lose faith. Okay, keep your faith alive. Have a look at what you believe in. Have a look at your values. The Hierophant is ruled um, by Taurus, Venus, 
And this is about your values, your belief systems, right? Are your belief systems working for you right now? Or six of swords and eight of wands, are you looking to move past some old outdated belief systems that you hold within you and move forward with some new ones or just shed any kind of restrictions that you may have, right? Because the Hierophant is a very um, spiritual energy, a very, uh, a very um, religious card, right? And we've got, you know, like the Pope on there, right? With the worshipers down below. And, you know, sometimes we do need a little bit of structure in our lives, right? We do need to know what we're doing, where we're going, or, you know, we do need to, you know, follow some traditions or some beliefs. But sometimes those things don't work for us anymore. And instead of enhancing our lives, and instead of opening our mind, instead, sometimes we start to feel that restriction, we start to feel that heaviness, that net that cast that is cast over us. And so with the six of swords and the eight of wands, some of you are looking to move out of some old belief systems that are feeling like they're stifling your energy, right? And we are going through a collective shift in consciousness for a lot of people. So you might be right now applying some more life lessons that you've been learning. And this is kind of changing how you view things or changing how you conduct yourself or changing, you know, um, you know, some of your, uh, some of your traditional things that you normally do or believe in. Um, because the Hierophant is card number five too. So five can quite often um, be uh, an obstacle, a challenge, but also exciting change. So I do feel that there's some very positive changes coming up for all of us, right? And but you may need to have a look at, you know, your belief systems and, you know, or the things that you do on a daily basis, right? Your your traditional things that you do, right? And you might need to kind of break out a little bit and just be a little bit more flexible rather than rigid because the higher fan is also an energy of ascension right taking something to the next level so some spiritual growth some personal growth there but it's also higher level learning so you've learned a lot in your lifetime and you've probably learned a lot of life lessons in the last couple of years as well and so you're looking at things for in a different way already and I feel like here for some of you you're maybe making some peace with something and you know for others I think you're just finding a better way forward you're finding compromise maybe you're trying to find a healthy balance between your traditional belief systems or your traditional structures your values use your family uh, traditions, right? And you may be trying to find a bit of a compromise and that common ground between the new. So blending the old and the new together. And spirit says here with this energy, stay positive, keep moving forward, be open, and you will get to where you want to go or you will have that result that you are looking for. The six of wands or sorry, the six of swords is one where, you know, we've been through um, some life lessons. It's a rite of passage. And sometimes, you know, we do get to points in our lives where we do need to learn something, right? So this is like lesson learned here with this and you're ready to move forward, right? This also represents that there's been some challenges, some troubles, right? There's been some stormy seas and now you're moving forward into a calmer, more peaceful time, right? But be willing to talk about things, be willing to compromise, right? And know that whatever your stage you're on, you are always, always, always divinely guided and protected every single step of the way, no matter how easy or difficult things are, no matter what changes are going on, this is calm, restored in there, right? And the eight of wands, right? This shows that you've got, you're moving fast, all right? And, you know, this does bring in some really positive kind of communication. So um, there might be something in your world with another person or just within you where your communication is very much on point. So uh, keep moving forward with, you know, making those little tweaks in how you communicate, not just with yourself, but also with spirit and also with other people. All right. And you will, you know, you will achieve what you set out to achieve in that energy. All right. But I also do feel that spirit has a big message for some of you here. Okay. Keep the faith. Believe. Okay. Believe. Be open. Get ready to receive. 
because there's something here coming in that you've manifested, all right, that is going to help you to move forward into um, a better way, better times ahead is coming in. And quite often that eight of wands is very much associated with movement in regards to things that you're manifesting or attracting into your life. And the six of swords is that really positive movement right? And it's like, oh yeah, we've got a little bit of peace of mind, a little bit of calmer energy coming in here. So, um, you know, be ready to take action, right? The eight of wands, very action oriented energy. So be ready to take some action and to move forward. Oh yeah, action. Hey, there we go. Um, and you know, there's something on your horizon that is possibly coming in or a door opening up for you or you're just going to gain that perspective that you've been needing wanting and perhaps desperate for in some areas and but you'll get that and this will help you um, on your journey in such a positive and such a profound way so I'm going to leave all that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated. If there was, please like, share, subscribe. I hope you have a fantastic day. I thank you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.